Good looking crowd. <laughs> okay. What's your name? Oh, you're not going to type. Um, oh, look, like I was, um, <laughs> I was going to warm up with some jokes before uh, to get you guys kind of used to it. Um, but I think Diego did a really fucking good job at making this incredibly weird. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of keep that going, you know? So <laughs> thank you for coming to my show tonight. Um, I'm actually the next white Nicki Minaj. Woo! I like to rap about dick. I like to rap about pussy. I like to rap about sugar daddies giving me those nice cars. Yeah, give me that nice car. Give me that nice... Prius, mm, you know that saving the environment makes me wet. Yeah, I know you like it. Um, seriously though, I just made a rap yesterday. Do you guys want to hear it? Yeah. You guys like it when I ask for permission? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing better than an A rhythmic white bitch asking for unsolicited rap beats. Right? Yeah, okay. So this is the first time I have ever rapped in front of people, okay? First time ever. So this is either gonna fucking suck or it's gonna fucking suck, okay? <laughs> All right, so let me just like get in the zone real quick. Uh-huh, uh-huh, brah, brah, okay, yeah, 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 okay. My name is Hannah and it rhymes with banana. They call me the next Hannah Montana cause I got two personalities. I like to be fucked aggressively, but consensually. Mmm, give it to me, Daddy, when I ask for consent. If you ask my say, oh, God damn it, stop laughing. If you ask nicely, you can come all over me, but if you ask politely, I'll sit on your face so you can taste my woman made. My woman made. My woman made. It tastes like pussy juice, but a little bit sweeter. Hope you fucking like it, cause if I don't come, then you won't either. <laughs> I tend to teeter, I'm a cheater. Let me lick that pussy yet before I suck that wiener. Okay, that's it. Yup. Mm, two bars. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know, come out with fucking five star bars. Oh, so good with rapping. How do I follow that up with a joke? I don't know, that's not usually my style. Normally I come up here and I'm like, ah, oh, nice weather we're having in Chicago. And then it's a dead room. And then I'm like, okay, can only go up from here. Here we go. But now I come out and you guys are like, yeah, this bitch is good. And now I'm like, what do I say next? No, seriously, that's how you get along with life. You set the bar so fucking low so that no one expects anything from you. And then you lift a finger and your boss is like, great job, promotion. <laughs> so the advice that I'd like you to get from tonight is to uh, lick your girlfriend's pussy and don't do anything else. <laughs> Literally the advice, but let's talk to something serious. I'm diving into some serious content right now So please hold your giggles until the end. Let's talk about leg hair real quick Now I was not preparing for this set. Okay, so I didn't wear loose pants So you can't see the patch of hair on my leg. Okay, but I have one patch I'm bisexual Okay, so what I like to do is shave my legs and leave one patch as a signal. It's like a Confederate flag, right? Shave for the men, leave a patch for the ladies. It's a really good idea, thank you. Yeah, I know, I came up with it myself. I tried to implement it into the LGBT community and they're like, that's so stupid. Uh, please fuck off. Um, <laughs> no, that's actually not really why I do it, is to signal the ladies. Um, it's actually because I bike everywhere, and this patch of hair right here, God, I'm so sorry that you guys can't see it. It's really honestly majestic. Um, when I go on a date, I like to like comb it a little bit and put some hairspray on it. Yeah, this is my comparison to uh, Diego bringing up a puppet. It's just getting really fucking weird in here. Um, 
but it's this patch of hair is like a sail in the wind. So I can get from Andersonville to downtown Chicago, which is like <laughs> seven miles, with no pedaling at all, especially <laughs> if it's windy. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh God, I don't feel like biking to work. And my leg hair is like, fucking send it. Let's go, bitch. Let's get you to fucking work so you can do absolutely nothing and make your boss really impressed with you when you finally do something. Um, segue. I'm going to medical school, uh, in August. Uh, it's not a joke, but sometimes people think it is. Um, yeah, I'm going to medical school in August because I'm pretty fucking fed up with people not listening to me when I tell them that they should smoke more weed. Um, it, but it kind of fucked me over because now weed is going to be legal in 2020. Um, do you know what that means for Chicagoans? It means that thousands of lives will change, not at all. <laughs> Literally everyone's like, this is not going to change my life. The, but the state government is like, oh, well, you know, we might as well make it legal. The kids are going to do it anyway. And you know, maybe if we make it legal and it'll all be high, uh, they won't know that we're not fixing absolutely anything about anything. <laughs> and so, <laughs> well, well, let's, do um, you want to smoke a blunt? Yeah, let's smoke a blunt. It's legal now. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Um, that's really like all I have for tonight.